All right, we were searching for the Alderman Ford hiking trails by the baseball fields, but we ended up at regular Alderman Ford Park, which I thought, or we all thought, were paved trails, but apparently they do have a pretty nice, decent hiking trail so far. Which we discovered no thanks to the park ranger. Yeah, park ranger seemed a little drunk, but he may have just had a stroke. But, um, anyways, we are heading about southeast right now trying to find the primitive sites. So hopefully if we don't get lost, we will update you once we get to the primitive sites. All right, we found one of the quote unquote hiking trails, but it's a paved trail. Um, still heading to the primitive sites. It runs parallel to the Alifaya River here. It runs in a general, uh, about a northwest to southeast direction right now. And we're actually coming across a bridge that is slippery when wet, apparently. But this is like Alderman Ford's... But all good things are slippery when wet. It's true. But Alderman Ford's bridge is like the famous... Like when you go on the park website, it's pretty much what you see. is the bridge that overlooks the river. So that's where we're at right now. We're heading uh, south towards the primitive sites. So we'll see you soon. Alright, we found the trail to the primitive sites. It's actually longer than I expected it to be. Which is nice, because it's uh, back away from the beaten path, which is uh, the whole goal. which is yeah, the whole point of primitive camping, to be away from people. So, yeah, that's about it for now. Alright, so we made it to the campsites. There's two. There's site one and site two. Right now we're checking out site one. And there's actually pretty extensive hiking trails around here. So not only is it just primitive sites, there's actually, the primitive sites are just one small feature of the uh, the trails I got back here. So, not a bad setup at all. I mean, there's limited tree coverage, which would kind of suck on a sunny day, but weather's getting cooler now, which would be nice. You got a nice pine tree in the middle. You got, it comes with a fire pit, trash can, and a pole to hang all your food on. Not that we have any bears around here, but there are still critters that'll want to get you stuff. Um, that's pretty much it. Not really all that primitive. The only thing it's missing is water and electricity. Well, we're nowhere well, I mean, near a water source, though. So. Yeah. The water source, it's it's far, but not too far back on the uh, the start of the primitive trail. So, I mean, and yeah, the trail or the site comes complete with little beauty berry snacks. So all in all, not bad. We're gonna go check out site two next and see what uh see what site two has to offer. Maybe site two is the more primitive of the primitive. Alright, so we found site two. It's actually a pretty good distance away from site one, so if you have other primitive campers out here, you don't have to worry about running into them because it's kind of far apart. And I found actually this pretty cool little crab spider. It's a huge you can't see it on video, but it's a huge web. It's attached to that pole, it's attached to that palmetto. Anyways, getting off track. Um, this site looks like it is a lot better than site one because, number one, there's a lot of tree coverage here. You actually feel like you're in the woods. And number two is it's way bigger, as you can see. You can put a couple tents there, scan over, put a couple tents there. This site's way better, yeah? yeah? I don't know. I would rather use the other one. You got I can already feel a lot more another fire pit. Apparently someone's been chopping wood out here. But you got your little hanging pole. You got your trash can again. Fire pit. Uh, yeah. And lots of tree coverage here.